Oh no, another asshole playing No Man's Sky. No, I'm just joking. This is just gonna be a review. Um... Also curious to see how this runs. Uh, it runs like shit when you're recording it. Alright. Well, everybody, No Man's Sky is out. And that means... We finally got to see over... Hyping it up and all that stuff came out. And it's about as much as you'd expect. But, uh... People are giving it pretty bad reviews overall. And I don't think it is that bad. So I guess this is less of a review, review episode, uh, you know, a review and more of a, trying to save it. Now, this kind of game is not for everybody. You gotta understand that procedurally generated games like this one is almost impossible to make entertaining. All procedurally generated games, especially when it's a main feature like it's generating the whole planet. I mean, they could look beautiful, but in terms of content, it is really hard, especially when this one doesn't have a way for you to build your own content with the building mechanic. And to me, this is a game that I justified getting because of it had that surreal, oversaturated, endless uh, exploration, spacefaring type of game that I've been looking for for a long time to get me out of my Skyrim. Now, yeah, almost like Paradox. I have to keep coming back to Skyrim because I. It's like one of the only games I really like getting kind of lost into. And I uninstall it and I go a while and then reinstall it. Get all the mods again. Now uh, this one's definitely going to replace that. Is this a fun game? No, not really. It's kind of grindy. No. It's just a... Uh, it's just a good exploration. In my opinion. You know, you get to see a bunch of different monsters and stuff. You try and find a bunch of planets. And all that stuff. Oh, that's okay. Hmm. Alright, now I'm okay. But it's, uh... It's not that bad. I mean, it got, as soon as it came out, it got mostly negative reviews. I mean, that's awful. But if you think about it, a whole lot of games coming out lately have been overhyped and incomplete upon release. Um, I just can't remember. It's just a, it just, it's just a big, hopefully it'll get out of that, that rut. It's first game from it too. Actually, for a game that you could just sit back and relax and explore and stuff, it has controller support. It's not that bad. Is it worth $60? No. It wasn't worth $60. Um, $30, $45 for a game like this, maybe. It's hard to say, because it, it's got a lot of elements that could hint towards a higher price tag, but I don't think it's quite there. If they come up with more content later, I feel like it'd be worth it. But, who knows when that's going to happen. I'm just gonna kinda go. I'm trying to find the sun.
All right, all right, all right. Is that all right? I don't know how to stop. Another space combat. You can mine asteroids. Like right here. I don't know if they're even asteroids. Seems kind of weird. They're just all over the place. Not very realistic in my opinion. But what are you going to do? It's a game. I actually want that. Nickel. Come on. Hell, I can fight people. Are you serious? the shields more in the shields <laughs> I wasn't expecting this this is not fun not fun not fun not fun, not fun. I can't fight those guys you kidding me where the fuck it came from get down into the planet damn it Coming here. Oh shit. Alright, come on, 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 come on. Alright, I think we're out of it. Well, that was a pain in the ass. Jesus. like I said, this isn't going to be a let's play video like everybody else. Oh shit. It's going to just kind of show what it looks like getting down into the planet. How about that? That's about it. Maybe look around a little bit when we land on the planet. Take quite a while. And here we go. It's my fault though. My fault. I knew I couldn't do this full uh, 60 frames. I knew I couldn't do it 30 frames. This actually runs 60 frames per second for me. A lot of people complain. And I have a 970 GTX 970 and I have a uh, an Intel i5 2500K processor overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz it's running fine for me maybe they patched it or something but yeah look at this
This is what I bought the game for. I could get lost. Look for monoliths. Take some, uh, scan some creatures. You'd scan, like, uh, whatever the fuck those things are over there. I guess you gotta stop. It's Nissite. You could also rename it. If you're the first one discovering it, you can name it. But you should be the first one discovering many of the things. Loft bite. And then you can destroy things. You can also boom. Alright, you can't do it to that. That actually works really good on crystals. You find crystals that I can try it on. And that very good at all. I think these just end up being the best for mining this. Most areas have crystals around it. It's got a splash effect, so it actually... It's a lot of crystals at the same time. Excuse me. I don't know what the fuck that was. That's, uh, you know... The gist of it. You land, you could either... You know, keep launching, coming back in your vehicle. No, going up and down, you could uh, get bigger vehicles. Or you could just leave your vehicle here and just trudge out there. It seems like they put... Uh, they put things close enough to where you could walk to them. So it seems kind of weird when you're actually flying to each place because they're all pretty close. So it does do kind of good to get out and just actually walk some. You just kind of go in here. Bam, you got new thingamajig to stick in your thing. Exciting. Mm, where else can we go? Is that a model? No. There's a of a... Another part of the game. Kind of weird because it's just one. These are actually usually next to the monoliths. Just teach you another thing. And I've seen, I think, three races so far. And each one has their own language, I believe. So this was for the people's names that I cannot remember for the life of me. Let's see. Alright, let's say you went here. So you have this whole list here that you can go through. And it's all the stuff that you found. Oops. My bad. All the systems you've been to. Yeah, try coming up with a new name for every single place you've been to. Oh, you gotta... There we go. So you can name the planets, you can name the system. You can name everything on the planet. I call that one Poke. That one's Gorla? Did I actually name that one? God's fan, I don't even know if I named that one. Uh, I think I called this one Rock. And I didn't like you just calling it rock, so I think it changed it back. Yep, there's head crabs in the game. So that's kind of it. I guess we could go to a a station really quick and check that out. Not really much different. I guess there's enough there. We could go do it. Why not? 
Oh, no, no. Shit, the thing. There we go. You guys seen already? And once you get to about here, you shoot the nickel that's supposed to. You've never even seen nickel before in the game. And you look around for the station. Or if you actually know how to use the little icons, you can just follow the icons. And here we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, I don't think. I'm just gonna kinda aim it correctly. Some Star Wire, uh, Star Wars style you know, particle effects. I don't actually know what it's supposed to be. There's not stars going past right here. Going at an extreme angle like this? No. no, I didn't do it this time. A little fling around, kind of funny. And there you go, now you're in a station. I've seen quite a few stations now, so they're not all the same. The people aren't all the same. I think I've seen about three races so far. I'm not too sure if there's actually more races or not. Is that would be a bitch trying to learn all the words? for uh, the language for three different races. That'd be a long time. I can show you an example right here if there's a man here. And there is. So I have the second most for him. I already talked to you? All right, well, I just paid you, so I wanna, come on. And they vary also. See right there? That means I've unlocked the word fascinating. <laughs> nah. I don't need any of it. And uh, trading you could either do here. Sell your items, buy items. things change in here. There's useless items that you would not want to buy from there. I don't know if uh, call it marketing's a thing. Got a jetpack too, that's kind of nice. Um, you could also trade with the people in these. These aren't real players. It's supposed to be almost impossible for you to find another player. And apparently uh, if people have, I don't know what you call it, it has shown that you won't actually see another character because apparently two people started on the same planet and were met at the same location and weren't able to see each other. So, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it's true because I think the boxes are supposed to have multiplayer on it, and Steam says it's single player. So who knows? Get offer for their starship. And that's a nice big one, so it costs a lot. Nice big chunk of money. Uh, getting getting uh, 15 million. Is, or, I don't even know if I could say that. 1.5 million? It takes a while to get to. Bit of grinding. Maybe there's better ways. Let's see now he says traveler. Unless he said that before, but you can buy items here and each character guy is gonna have similar stuff, but they're gonna also have separate things. So you could get this that wasn't on the thing inside the station. 
think it's useless for you. It's something more if you bought it, you can trade it. I wish you could get hit by ships, because that would have been funny. That's my ship. Not very fancy. It's got 20 spaces inventory. And I can't justify buying a new one until I find one that's got a lot more and costs a lot more. So I'm not going to spend like 1.5 million on a or 2 million on a ship that's only got 5 more spaces on mine. I want like 30 spaces, damn it. Let's see. This one's got 23, it's 1.3. It's got 3 more slots in mine, which is big if you're trying to do if you're trying to mine and then you know, sell it. You need those extra spots. But it costs you a lot for them 3 extra slots. You don't get money back for when you sell your ship. Which is kind of good, I guess, because it would be so much easier to buy new ships. They'd have to make the ships more expensive to counteract you getting money back for selling your ship. Then eventually, this is spoilers, if you don't want to see in here, don't see in here. When you get a pass, you can start entering uh, rooms like this. A right here, Atlas Pass. They got a couple different levels. This is level one. You can enter into here, and this is where you get. They have random spots on the planet that you could get suit upgrades, but you could also go here and you could increase your suit inventory space. And I think the original amount it was showing was here. But you had blanks. So I unlocked everything on here. And after you unlock everything on here, it starts going over and then down. Then you got, you know, random stuff there. It's not always the same. And you can't go in here because we don't have a V3 pass. Well, I think that's about it. This is actually a game just for me. Maybe if there is a ton of outcry, outroar, I doubt it, because this channel isn't very big at all. Maybe I'd play it. I just wanted to put this here so you could see what it's about without paying for it. And if you see like what you've seen so far, I guess you could go ahead and get it. Or wait until it gets a little cheaper. Seems like this would have been a good $30 to $45 game. But what are you going to do? So, until next time, take care.